Hello, this is Born from Born.TV, and today I want to talk about a topic I've been kind of putting off for quite a while, and it has to do with uh, the state of video games and uh, the notion of Kickstarters. A while ago, we came up with this, uh, the industry came up with this idea of early access. And early access uh, permits us as gamers to support video games in the middle of their development cycle. Uh, these games are typically in a pre-alpha or alpha state, and uh, the developers ask for our our money basically to fund the development of the game and also as a as a bonus i guess you can call it we uh, can provide them feedback and kind of guide the direction of the game uh, it sounds like a very very good thing on paper i think uh, early access and even kickstarters really were noble in their in their humble beginnings and uh, they had a really good uh, i guess the word i can think of is just is, is just pure at pure beginnings but today, we're kind of in a different situation. We've seen a lot of companies kind of abuse the notion of, of Kickstarters and the notion of early access. And I think it officially has gotten out of control. Um, I'm, I'm kind of under, under the opinion that I think it's time for early access to go. Um, it, it, it really had a good beginning and it was a lot of exciting projects that came out. I think the one everybody can relate to is uh, Minecraft, which was one of the big, big stars of that, uh, that premise. Also Kerbal Space Program, um, which really shined throughout the whole process. But today, I mean, a couple of stories, a couple of news articles came out and just things that kind of sickened me. Uh, number one, I guess I'll just talk about the big one. It's Ark. Uh, Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, this is a game that I backed and uh, I, I purchased early access. I had a little fun with it. It wasn't all that to me, but I could respect what the devs were doing. And back then I was willing to commit to the money to do this kind of stuff and actually to stream it and show it off as well. That was a, another primary motivation. So Ark announced that they are going to release an expansion to an early access title. I sometimes I think I'm living in the twilight zone because there's a lot of things in this world that happen. I just go, huh? What? I does anybody else see this? And that that was kind of the idea, and that was a that was a mindset I had. An expansion pack to an early access title. Early access means you're not done with the game. It means that the game still has more features. It means that you are in early access, you, are, you pay the developers to help them get the game done, and they release an expansion pack. Now expansion by definition means that you're extending to something that's already there. If it's expanding from an early access title, then what is it? I don't know what it is. It's, that's why I was a little bit shocked that it happened. It, it was so bold and just out there that I didn't know how to react and people ate it up. They, they bought it. I mean, it, it was a top seller on steam. And even one of the, the QA testers was like, yeah, we're a top seller on steam. That doesn't excuse it in my opinion. So I, I really am shocked that this has been allowed to happen. Number one by valve that an early access title can release a paid expansion. It's a paid expansion pack to an unreleased game. Now, Things that I can understand are like uh, if you're gonna if you have an early access title, and you have a microtransaction cash shop as part of the early access program, I don't mind you charging for that stuff because most times what happens is that you're testing that system, you're you're testing the prices, even though sometimes you're giving up all the time you're giving up real money. And the devs what they do is that when the game comes out they reset you, they reset all of your monetary you know, values, they, they give you all the tokens or whatever, or gems or gold that you bought so that when the game comes out, you can start afresh. I don't mind that too much. I got problems with it, but I don't mind it too much. A full on expansion to an unreleased game. Early access is out of control, guys. It's completely out of control. I mean, you got people Changing from free to play to paid. Okay, we're gonna go paid now. We're not gonna be free to play to launch. We're gonna be we're gonna be paid when we come. So all these all these these major decisions are happening in early access, and people who invested in these in these games and trusted these developers are feeling burned. 
Now, gamers are kind of weird because there's this group that that will support the devs no matter what because gamers are loyal to games they love. They are. They will they will accept and excuse and be apologetic for anything for any game that they love because they don't want that to go away. It's human nature. It's like they're clinging to it. And then there's people who who feel burned, who who legitimately want to support the developers but feel burned but don't know how to express it, so they're silent. They don't say anything. And then there's people who are very, very vocal against it to the point to where it's extreme. I think I'm somewhere in that middle ground. I, I'm making this video to kind of express my thoughts on it. But this, I feel burned. I, I trusted these developers with a lot of these early access titles. And what they're doing today is not matching the spirit of what it started with. The spirit of what early access started with is not matching what's happening today. I don't mind supporting developers. I don't mind giving them money to help them complete a project because I know how tough the industry is. But I don't like greed. I don't like dishonesty and I don't like deceive, deceiving your users. And I'm seeing a lot of that. I'm seeing a lot of, of just questionable behavior from these developers. So as an Asian seasoned gamer, <laughs> I can recommend that uh, I can say that I, I, I'm going to really I've already started cutting back on early access titles. I just don't I'm not going to even deal with them anymore. I'll just wait. I'll follow the developers, but there's going to be very few exceptions of developers that I implicitly trust that have released games in the past that have not burned me in the past. Uh, one one game that comes up is uh, Battle Right from Stunlock Studios. I played a ton of Bloodline Champions. I trust those developers. They handled their transition from um, I think it was Funcom, the, the publisher that bought them out very well. And they were very true to what they said, what they said. And I trust them implicitly. So that's why I had no, no problem backing Battle Right, um, which is their early access title, which comes out today, September 20th. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that for a lot of other developers. Because the trust has been broken. It's led to a lot of controversy if you will to where if a developer makes a minor mistake i'm looking at you no man's sky if the developer makes a minor mistake or mistell or misjudgment or misquote sees and, and just waves and waves and waves of negativity are going to come from the internet because all that pent up distrust is building up and gamers will let it out on whoever gets caught red-handed this is one from one.tv. This is my thoughts on early access and why I think it really needs to go.